the mind and the body, I think we're so attached to in our life. It's even going further, like your soul, right? Like, right. Or like yeah. who you really are behind your mind and your body. You got to have more than one thing. Right. You know, it's it can't be. just be a physical act where you're, that's keeping your mind at ease. Yeah. Well, that's where meditation's great because. You don't need, you can be any, you can be legless and armless and still meditate. Yeah. You can do it anywhere. You can do it in a crowded room. You can find the quietest room. You can do it on an airplane. You can do it in the bathroom. You can pick a place, you can meditate. So it's, and you don't need any tools for it. Yeah. Like it's, that's the beauty of it. And that's why it's like, you can do it until you're dead. Right. Right. There's no limitations. Yeah. I mean, maybe, you know, maybe if you get really bad migraines all the time, but even that, maybe some, maybe some bit of just being still and relaxing and just kind of being in your thoughts for a minute, maybe that'll help that too. But I've rarely seen it where you're like, yeah, that, it's like running, get into running and you'll feel better. Yeah. But what happens when you get injured and you've loved it for years and years and now you can't do it? You're going to feel depressed and shitty and, yeah left out and all those things you feel meditation you're never going to feel left out you're never right. going to feel like i'm not capable of it you can always do it yeah that's so that's where it's like yeah the physical part's great but there's other the brain part yeah is more important because you can always try to help that and it's always going to you're always going to find something else from that brain trying to make your brain healthier that's going to help you with life and help you with the physical, help you get yeah. over the, the depression, help you, whatever it is. Man. Yeah. It's cool. Man. Yeah. I just fit. Yeah. It's just, I've been thinking about that. It's like it, you know, now I'm at that age where, you know, I'm not getting younger at all. I'm not getting stronger, at, you know, yeah, I'm not going to be quicker. You know, my reflexes are going to slowly deteriorate, you know, yeah. and it's like, you know, all my activities now are, are pretty much for fun. You know what I mean? Fun and, uh, and, you know, just enjoying my body and taking care of it, you know. Um, but I am going to slowly be get more limited and more limited, you know. And it's like, if the body's going to get limited, it's like, the, the mind is limitless, yeah. right? It's like, Train the mind a little bit more, you know, start focusing on your mind. And obviously we do with meditation and, yeah. you know, prayer and stuff. But um, it, it seems like at this point in my life, that's not the focus, but like that's what I need to implement and just be aware of. Yeah. You know, and even, even with my... behind the mind. Yeah. Like the mind and the body, I think we're so attached to in our life it's even going further like your soul right like right or like yeah. who you really are behind your mind and your body yeah because at some point your mind and your body are both going to be gone and then then what do you have so getting to know like what's behind that exactly which is even a deeper like i know that's maybe for another subject but no it's that, like that is the subject yeah, dude. that that's even that's the real thing it's like oh man there's more more to me than this mind and this body that I've identified with my entire life, you know? Right. So, yeah, that, that can be cool, too. Yeah. Just going a little deeper. Yeah, but like it's, it's so fun to think about. Like, it's fun to think about for me because it's like I didn't realize the different, um, I guess, I don't know, I wouldn't say evolutionary steps, but like the different... Um, not levels, but portions of your life that that you grow into. Yeah, you know what I mean. It's like, yeah, I had an understanding of my spiritual life when I was younger, but it's nowhere near my understanding of what it is now. Yeah, just through life experience, you know. Yeah. And it's like you can grow in that in your spiritual walk way more than your physical. You know, because it's like we were talking about, you know, your physical limitations are going to just keep adding up. Yeah. But that, in turn, can improve your spiritual life. True. 
right? Because, I mean, it's part of reality, and you're accepting things that you can't control, which is something that's very hard to do when you're younger. Yeah. And limits you in relationships, you know. But as you're older, you know, if you can begin to accept those things, I'm, and that, which is what I'm trying to do, you know? Yeah. But we're also, like you said, just finding things that are easier for you to do that you could maintain that still, because the whole cool thing about being a human being is like live the, the living experience, right? Yeah. Like turn that mic a little bit to yeah. pivot it. Yeah. There you go. You're not like, you know, you're not just in your head all the time. Like you can move your body around. That's awesome. Like, yeah. So being able to not do that, it sucks. So there's always something. I feel like every, you know, we, a lot of us grow up playing, especially people that play sports. We grow up playing these hardcore things where you need to like grab people, throw people, hit people, run into things. Like you need to go all out. And in the meantime, you're abusing your body too. But then you get older and those things, your body starts to break down a little bit. But there's so many other activities you can still do using your living body to you know to get pleasure out of that experience yeah because moving around is is the best thing ever yeah like nothing's worse than just sitting around like sitting feels good when you've been moving a lot but if you don't move a lot and you just sit all the time it's depressing man like yeah there's a reason why we have our body like move around and live your life but when you can't because you're broken down it sucks man yeah finding those things like you see old people playing certain sports like right badminton or um tai chi you see tai chi or just i mean not not that badminton's like was i think badminton's a hard sport but like you can play it a little easier you're right. you know you're usually on grass or you know or on a little court and you just can like you don't have to go hardcore ping pong like mm-hmm. there's things you can still do that are fun mm-hmm. and you're using your body but they're not so abusive right that's badass to find those things and 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 try to get better at them 